In this video, you will learn how to activate your IP address at our database. This helps you to access your system independent from your location and network. First and foremost, we differentiate between static and dynamic IPs. If you are a new customer or your institution has a new, not changing IP address due to various reasons, then it's considered as static IP. However, if you want to work in an unregistered environment, for example from home, or let your students work on some tasks, it's considered as dynamic IP. With this basic knowledge, we can now proceed with the actual activation of your IP. For this, let's visit the SAP UCCTU Munich portal. Once it's done, we navigate to the customer self-service and choose Remote Logon. Based on your intent, we either choose Unlock Static IPs or Remote Login. In case you want to register a static IP, we select Unlock Static IPs. You can now choose between Normal and Expert modes. For most cases, the Normal mode is sufficient. We will get to the expert mode later. In normal mode, you can specify the IP addresses you want to activate. Just enter your address in standard IPv4 format and hit create activation. If you however want to enter an IP range, you can do that by using a certain star notation. The first part of the IPv4 address specifies the common IP prefix of the address range. Note that in our application, you can only use a star in the fourth position of the IPv4 format. Let's say we want to register this address range. All we have to do is enter in our prefix followed by a star. Hit create activation and we are done. Now on to expert mode. In addition to the normal mode, the expert mode allows you to activate IP addresses by specifying base address and subnet mask. Once again, enter your address in standard IPv4 format in the source system box. Next, specify the subnet mask by adding a valid number. Valid values for subnet mask are numbers between 32 and 16. The expert mode also allows you to only temporarily activate IP addresses. For single training sessions, for example. To do so, uncheck the unlimited validity checkbox. Then specify the start and end date in the fields valid from and valid to. Hit create activation to confirm. If you feel like maintaining some of your already registered addresses, you can find all current activations in the table at the bottom. There you can select an entry by selecting the respective checkbox. By clicking on Delete Selected Entries, all selected entries will be deleted irreversibly. If you have only one entry selected, you can update it by choosing Update Selected Entry. Moving on to Remote Login. Choose Remote Login at the top. To activate your dynamic IP, hit the Activate Current IP button and you are set. Additionally, there is the option to activate a custom IP in standard IPv4 format as well. 